is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel Handbags and Happiness. If you like videos about handbags, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. I make videos about handbags, handbag related things, and a lot of shopping vlogs that I think are pretty entertaining. So please hit the thumbs up button, let me know you like this video, and also subscribe. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Tory Burch wish list for 2021. I've been seeing everyone do luxury wish lists, and I have a luxury wish list, but it's not very long, and I'm very analytical about it. I keep it on a spreadsheet I, with pricing, availability, when I would get it, what I would have to do. Like, I, when I buy luxury, it has to be for a milestone, a birthday, a holiday, and it has to be when I accomplish something really big. It's kind of personal to me. Like, one of my goals for January was to lose a certain amount of weight, and if I lost a certain amount of weight, I was going to reward myself with a luxury item so the list is kind of personal in that regard so i didn't really want to share it yet here on youtube i will definitely probably share the items as i get them but not the list but i did want to do one of these types of lists and one brand that i just have fallen in love with the last few months and years is tory birch and I am constantly, constantly buying items or look, going in there, looking in the window, looking in the store. And I've accumulated a rather nice wish list. I have my notes here of items that I would like to pick up from Toy Birch this year. I had eight items on my list, but a new collection just dropped. And if you watch my shopping blog from a like a week ago I got to see some of the new collection before it hit the website and I had to not add a ninth item to the list so let's get into it and let's see what's on my 2021 Tory Burch wish list so the first item I want is a new Tory Burch Ella tote for work I love the Ella tote I have one but I have the outlet version and the outlet version is just not as nice as the boutique version the straps are not as long so you really can't carry it on your shoulder you have to carry it like on the crook of your arm so i want this bag for work because it is a great bag i already have an organizer that i had custom made for it and i either want it in the new baby blue color or i want it in the patent leather because this bag typically doesn't come with leather straps it comes with like the vegan type leather but the patent leather version does come with leather straps so the so the first item on my wish list is the Toya Birch Ella Tote and it retails for $198. The next item on my wish list is a Kira card holder. Now the Kira collection is gorgeous. It's been around for a while. They do it in a tons of colors. I had bought a Kira card holder in the crazy pink color during the holiday times but it came and it was like it had very dark spots on it. So it, it was probably something that someone had used in return. Anyway, I ended up returning it, so I did, don't have one, but I really, really want one in a fun color. The lambskin on the Kira card holders and all, all the Kira collection and handbags is very soft and so just beautiful with the gold hardware. So the next item on my wish list is a Kira card holder, and it retails for $98. So the third item on my wish list is a pair of Miller sandals in silver, metallic silver, with the bling bling hardware. I really, really want these. I, they are just gorgeous. I've seen them in the boutique in a couple of department stores. I haven't seen them online, and so I don't know if I'll be able to get them, but I, I want them. And when it turns warm, I'll be going into the beach, boutique trying to get them. Again, these are the Silver Miller sandals, and they're the flat version, and they retail for $248. Okay, so the fourth item on my wish list is the Tory Burch Reversible Belt. And one side is black and the other side is camel or a tan brown color. I don't have very many belts. I don't I don't think I have any belts in my in my closet. So, I really want one. I like how people wear them with dresses. I wear tons of dresses. So, I would like to wear it high-waisted. I don't think I would wear it with jeans cuz I don't really wear jeans, but if I did wear jeans and need a belt, I would definitely want this belt. And I think it's very versatile since it is reversible and it retails for a good price. Fourth item on my wish list is the one inch Tory Burch reversible belt with the black and tan and it retails for $198. So the fifth item on my wish list is a Tory Burch Kira bag 
in the small size and I want it either in yellow or black with gold hardware. Most people have the large size which I think is gorgeous but I want to get in the small size because I want to wear this as a more dressy crossbody bag and of course yellow is the color of the year. It's one of the Pantene colors of the year so I'm just really feeling yellow right now and of course black is classic so I'm definitely wishing and wanting after this bag and I probably will get it very very soon um I want it that bad so anyway so the fifth item on my list is the small cure convertible bag and it retails for $498 okay probably the bag I'm most excited for from Tory Burch this year is the new Fleming bag and it came out at the end of December early January time and it's completely revamped from the old Fleming and the old Fleming had problems because I've watched tons of videos and I've known people with that bag so I didn't want that bag so I do want the new Fleming bag they have fixed this bag and it comes in some awesome colors I either want it in the pink or the gray color Ugh, I look that gray with that gold hardware that is just really really it's just something fresh and new so I yeah I'm gonna get this bag this is I don't know if I'm gonna get the Cura convertible bag or this bag first, but one of these bags is gonna be in my closet very, very soon. So the sixth item on my list, and probably the item I want the most, is the new Fleming bag, and it retails for $498. So the seventh item on my list is the Robinson Continental Wallet. And this is probably the item I'm most unsure about. I really like the Continental Wallet. I want a large, full-size wallet from Tory Burch. And I actually want this wallet in the new cloud blue color because it's so pretty. But I am just not a huge fan of the Robinson Collection. It's very beautiful, don't get me wrong. My issue with the Robinson Collection is that it's made of Saffiano type leather. And I'm not a big fan of Saffiano leather. And then my second issue is that if you want a Robinson bag, I recommend you get the Emerson from the outlet. It's the exact same bag. The quality of the two, you cannot really tell the difference. It's the same type leather and you're going to probably pay 50 maybe 60% less from the boutique price at the outlet. Look it up. The Robinson and the Emerson are just alike. But anyway, I digress. I do want a full-size Continental wallet. I don't know if I'll get the Robinson because I may pick up one of the ones they have in the outlet in the Emerson line. But the seventh item on my wish list is the Robinson Continental wallet and it retails for $198. So the eighth item on my list is a Lee Raswell bag. These are gorgeous bags. But they are so expensive for Tory Burch. Like the starting price of these bags for like the teeny tiny one is $8.98. And the one I want is I think $1,998. $1, so that's over $1,000 for a Tory Burch bag. And I just don't know if I'm ready to go there. Like when I start thinking about spending over $1,000 for a bag, I'm looking to get a luxury brand. So I got to think on this one. I really like this bag. I think it's classic to the Tory Burch line but what I would say is I want this bag probably in the large version but the large version is so heavy I've tried this bag so many times they make it with a very heavy leather most of the time they have suede or some other type of material on the inside and on the sides this bag is very heavy and because of the price point that is why it's at the bottom of my wish list so number eight is the Lee Raswell bag and it retails anywhere from $8.98 to $1,098 depending on which one you get and there's a few I like I just don't know which one I want so the ninth item on my list which I just added a few days ago is the monogram tea collection and I'm saying the collection because I don't quite know which bag I want I like the camera bag and the medium tote so I'm torn between those I do know I want it if I don't get the cure in yellow I know I want it in yellow I love it I even may pick up the little sneakers that go with it because they're super cute but I'm a tote girl, so I'm probably leaning more towards the tote, but I just love the fact that the camera bag has a top handle and then it has like the crossbody strap that's really in that, you know, the Louis Vuitton multi pochette accessoire and the pottery edition are made out of that type strap. So Tory Burch is definitely on trend with the t um, strap on this camera bag. And yeah, I just had it added to my wish list. So this is the ninth and final item on my wish list. Well, that's all for this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're lusting after or you have any Tory Burch items or bags on your wish list. I know I have quite a few, but 
I would say a good five out of the nine I'm definitely going to get. So you know what that means. I it means that you need to stay tuned because if I definitely get them, I will definitely be sharing with them with you here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye now.